Hey guys, hope you're all well. So, I was looking forward to using the Oculus, I think it's called tonight, MetaQuest, whatever it's called, uh, but we've run into a problem. I got my son to show me how you actually record the thing, um, like your gameplay footage, and that is super simple. You literally, it's just a case of clicking record in the thing, or Stacy can do it on a phone. Um, but the problem we're having is, it records what you're seeing when you're in your like your game area, but the second you leave your game area, like I think it's called pass through mode, and it goes to like the thing where I can see everything. It only records a black screen. All you see then is a black screen, and the menu of the game. So I've, I've had a look into it today and it seems that it's a normal thing. It's something Meta has done purposely for privacy for some reason. I'm not sure what, you know, it's, it's my house, so what, what's it matter? So I, I felt a bit down about that because I really didn't think there was going to be a fix to it. But, I have found um, a way. Uh, it involves some like third-party software, at which you, you download onto your laptop, um, connect your Oculus Quest thing to it, um, and then you have to go into something called developer mode, and <clears throat> you then like record what I'm seeing through that device. Is then recorded like to my computer. You do a screen record on your computer, which I know what for, how for do that because that's how I record the Kinect footage. Uh, so I actually need to get myself an Oculus. What, are they called Oculus? I think I think they are. Because this developer mode thing, I'm actually not sure what it is to be fair, and I don't want to like mess my son's account up or his games up, his friends list or anything like that. So I'm going to see if I can find um, a cheap one, you know, just a cheap second hand one for use. And once I've got that, it'll be all systems go. But yeah, I'm disappointed about it. But, you know, these things happen, just keep going with it. We've still got Connect. I might actually have a go with the Connect after. Last night was absolutely mental it just all happened so quick i don't think well i can't remember last time you know like i abandoned ship and just went bed i what time did i get up i think i was up about half three this morning bright like bright and early wide awake i went bed that early but it just shook me up it wasn't the fact that it was some out of the ordinary in terms of like it was mind-blowing paranormal activity it was the fact that you know, people who've watched me for, you know, any amount of time, really, you'll know I said, if something moves, I did it with the box, I said, move it back, and, you know, it never does. So the fact that it did move it back, that is, you know, completely what took me by surprise and shock. Um, yeah, and I saw my ass and I just had to go to bed. Um, <clears throat> yeah, in the backyard as well, we... Caught a shadow when I went out after that bang. Um, I heard a noise in the caravan, if you remember. Um, basically, what I'll show you. When I was coming out of the caravan, the stuff moved because it's been winter. The thing is moved. Yeah, as I was coming out at Caravan, like I panned the camera around and there was a figure stood there. Oh, what's there? Uh, looking at the footage, it was around this area. And to be fair, the shadows and stuff outside, it doesn't scare me or worry me at all. 
but it's difficult seeing them and that's the theory behind the meta quest thing you know i've got like real time information with that like i can see everything that's going on whereas this you know it's just a little screen it's so difficult but at the same time i'm not i'm not complaining because there is no nothing in my opinion negative going on outside um it's bright isn't it i've tidied the caravan today you know with the bang in it so i've tidied the caravan christmas tree's gone now i've put the bed down so tomorrow or night after i'm going to sleep in there i'm also going to have a fire in the next couple of nights outside with Alexa at the door. She just triggered. Sorry, I didn't find a group or device named Love. <laughs> yeah, um, tonight, really no idea what's going to happen. It's actually super early. Um, Stace is at Bath, Little and is still up. It's only 20, um, 10 to 9, sorry. So I'm just going to get everything set up. So thanks for watching, guys. Uh, so the scratching seems to have started a couple of minutes ago. Uh, I'm on this one as that's that camera's not even there. It's going up there. Can't remember last time I actually heard the scratching. I always seem to find the scratching, you know, pretty disturbing. Microphone. just going to like appear behind me while I'm looking but my best chance of you know actually seeing something is through a... that's the thingy in the hole yeah, that, that one's just happened because I've opened the door Well, it didn't knock anyway, so um, I think why we're at the early stages of summit starting for happen now, I'm going to... Sure, I saw something down there then. Like, zip up there, maybe like an orb or something. Um, while we're at early stages or something, I'm going to get the Kinect set up. Like I said, we've not got the Oculus thing, but... You know, the good old faithful connect still works. I think I'll do some like prayers, get the in fact the holy water. Running. Running low, but yeah. Do some prayers, some calling out. If I see it, I'll give it a blast and I'm gonna do a cleansing on the no portal area, so I'm just going to get all that set up now. Um, I'm just going to, like I said, do a little calling out, give this wall um, a blessing, a spraying, and um, I'm going to say a prayer. I'm calling out to the negative spirits in the house. 
I've got something in my hand for you. I'm sure you remember what it is. I think you've been sprayed multiple times with this, although I'm not certain what I'm spraying. I call on any positive spirits to come forward, stand in front of me here, and allow me to spray you with this. That will then prove to me that you are pure because I know evil would hate this stuff. Again, that is jet black in it, the wall. Sure, it's just a coincidence, but I'm shouting, thinking, Mike's over, it's on me. Um, but, you know, the wall is noticeably colder here. Like, St. Michael, the Archangel, defend us in battle. Be our protection against the wickedness and snares of the devil. May God rebuke him. We humbly pray and do thou, O Prince of the Heavenly Host, by the power of God, thrust into hell Satan and all evil spirits who wander through the world for the ruin of souls. Amen. A big one here. Um, you can't see it rug, I don't think, but it's on it. <coughs> that one disappeared. They don't seem to be, when I've been using the Kinect lately, they don't seem to be sticking around as long as they used to. I'm thinking that could be like an energy thing. Because like, like I've said, um, you know, over December, November as well, really, the activity ain't been as high. So the last couple of days, it's been getting high. Message. So it'll be interesting now if I see if the figures do start um, staying around longer. Vlad the imposter. You beat me last night. Challenge me now why I've got this in my hand and why I'm watching that screen. This is your worst nightmare now. Floor's creaking. Right, I'm not going to play games. I'm just getting into it. So if anybody ever wonders what this is lying around, like I always have a notepad. It's like my prayer book thing. It's where I write my own prayers down and things like that. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, who overcame all darkness, I command all evil and demonic spirits present to leave this place. The power of Christ compels you to leave. He compels you to, it compels you to leave this house. It's by the authority of Jesus Christ that I declare this home free from your evil influence. Lord Jesus, your power knows no bounds. We call upon your strength and your victory over all evil. May your light cast out every shadow and your peace fill every corner. It's by the authority of Jesus Christ that I command all darkness to flee. In the name of Jesus Christ, be gone and never return. This home is now under the protection of Jesus Christ. Amen. Actually, it's real loud on there then, Stacey. There'll probably be a big cross thing at morning when Stacey gets up. 
Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come. Thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who've trespassed against us and lead us not into temptation but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power and the glory forever and ever. Amen. So I've only seen the two stick figures, um, a little one a, a bit ago, and then this big one here. Don't know if anything came around me while I was reading, but I didn't feel anything at all, to be fair. I think I'm just going to leave this here now. Um, the scratching seems to have stopped. We've not heard that again. Um... Yeah, just going to build up, because I know it's getting stronger, but at the same time, this is all, everything I do is just about getting a good night's sleep, ultimately, until there is a solution for it. So thanks for watching, guys. Summit knocking on roof. It's um, it's not loud, but it's noticeable. I should I say ceiling? Hi everyone, uh, you've probably guessed I've just put Spirit Talker on for a minute. Good morrow. Morrow's an old English word, isn't it? Or is it Scotland? Scottish? Phenomena. What's making that noise on the ceiling? Can you tell me where it is? Got like a weird feeling that I were being watched then from out there, but there's clearly nothing there. The woman scares me. Who scares you? Who's the woman? Is that what I was feeling then? And you've just re replied to me. How does it make you feel, I'm speaking to the negative one, that I'm going to be going out tomorrow and you know that you're going to have to come with me? Glynis. Glynis. That's definitely a first time, I think. I'm starting taking you out. Because I know... Leave me alone. I know that it wastes your energy. Me going out... 
I protect this place. I seem to be getting something through that's not negative. Are you the one that I see? She has her eye on you. That's creeper. Are you the one that I see in the window? Is it you who I see, the dark shadow? My childhood. So you kind of read into that and it's just said, I protect this place, my childhood. Is it like saying like there was from here? Again, if this was the case, it'd have to be the land because, you know, like I've said a million times in comments, <clears throat> we bought this house off the original owner and nobody had died here. And I'd not been asking questions and nothing came through. Are you the one that I see in the window? We had spoke before. Instantly responds. But can you confirm if you're the thing that I see in the window? Please move forward. I already am. Can you tell me? I was just going to say then, can you tell me what you are? But a poltergeist doesn't have the ability to speak. What's that? I can see flashing there. Oh, no, it's bloody microphone thing. Irish. Irish? Stace is Irish. Party. It sounded like there was a bit of a party going on up there with all the noise. Can you tell me something useful? Can you tell me what I see in this window? The dark shadow. We see it just standing here in them. Or it walks across. Can you tell me what that is? I don't like talking. I'd be super grateful if you could tell me what it is. Stay here. I'm not leaving. I'll never leave. Hopefully the negative goes and anything positive stays. What year is it? It's 2024. What year was you born? Wow. <laughs> I heard a thud then as well. I lost one of my legs. Can you tell me what year you was born? They keep secrets here. My name is Helen. It's going crazy at minute. Can you tell me what year you was born, Helen? Hi. Hi. Helen, can you tell me what year you was born, please? I've told you what year it is. It seems we get different sort of communication in the bedroom and the backyard, you know, where it seems that positive stuff or just regular spirits can somehow get through. Correct. Correct. Are you not able to speak to me downstairs because of the negative stuff? Is that... Is that I'm having fun. I'm glad you are. Are you not able to speak anywhere else in the house? So much just caught my eye over there then. Prisoner. Was that you then that I just saw over here? I don't know if it were in house or outside. I died in my sleep. Did you die in this area? Is that why your energy's strong here? Maybe on this land? Yours. Yours. 
You know it's my land now. Is that what you mean? Hazel. Hazel's a colour in it. I know you're trying really hard now, but you're not making much sense. Can you tell me what I keep seeing out of this window? Can you tell me what it is? Can you say the name of it on this? You've said poltergeist, but I don't believe yes, that. Over here. It's hard for. We have spoke before. It wasn't Hazel, was it? We had that time. It was Violet. It's so nice to talk. There's not one negative thing coming out of this. Safe. Do you feel safe in, in this room? Don't tell people. It's too late, they're watching you. Caves. Right, I'm going now, Whatever, whoever I'm speaking to. I'm ending this. Thank you so much for your communication. So that's just a portion of what has just been said. Um, you know, you've seen you've seen me with this on the hallway, and we'll get two or three words out sometimes. But then, like this, we we must have just had thirty, forty, fifty words, um, and a lot of them was like super relevant. Um, and you know, it does it does feel like. You know, it's, it's just the bedroom where positive stuff comes through, back yard. And, yeah, it's strange. I don't know if it's because we see that thing at the... I thought I saw something again. It's that again. Um, I might be thinking too much into it, do you know, like, because we... I think the stuff outside is positive. Um, so obviously we get decent communication though because it's like everything's got free will um, and we get that thing in the bedroom window which I think the one I call the watcher which I, I do think is positive so maybe that's why there's less of a you know like negative impact in bedroom anyway I'm going to bed oh.